Welcome to, to Roses and Thorns. I'm Kelly. I'm Ryan. And we're going to talk about episode one, season 23 of The Bachelor. With Colton Underwood. Um, he's a guy. He is a guy. He is blonde. He is white. He has blue eyes. He is muscular. He played football. Mm-hmm. Yep. He, he was, loves dogs. He, he is a virgin. Chubby. Now you know everything. Yeah, he's a major virgin. Major virgin. The biggest of all virgins. The virginist of all virgins. Oh, I assume you would, you that's would, why. It's such that's a why deal. everybody is talking about it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. He is so pure. He was he's birthed the... from a virgin and will live his life as a virgin. Mm. There must be something very unique about his virginity. <laughs> well, it was announced on, uh, well, well, he said it himself. It was revealed mm-hmm. that he was a virgin on national television. That's true. My virginity was never revealed on national television. Yeah, right. <laughs> Most people's aren't. So this is pretty special. <clears throat> um, so we're not going to spend a lot of time talking about these viewing parties yeah. because we um, are. We assume you're as sick of them as we are. Yeah, and um, we might complain about it a couple times. Yeah, I was very angry about it, and but I do not plan to continue. We are going to talk about it. So this is actually going to be kind of a short episode probably because there was like a, what, a 20 minute 20 actual 30 minutes. episode to watch yeah. so we should be able to talk about it in 30 because we talk a lot okay so. uh so we won't probably I'd, won't talk about every single woman since we did talk about them be uh ooh, ooh. can we talk like a couple seconds about the viewing party though sure so um, i do like I have a couple oh i know i wasn't oh, totally sorry. jumping in already okay. uh i was just saying that we were gonna, we weren't going to talk about every single woman's like entrance and everything because we already covered that in our previous yeah. episode um so yeah we'll we did like a whole overview of the women mm-hmm. in a whole separate episode talked about what they wore we talked about how i only had headshots and boob up <laughs> and you had the whole picture yep and then yep. made a difference so if you felt like you didn't get to know the women enough on night one and you haven't listened to our bios episode, go I ahead and go I think we back. did a better job of we introducing did. the women than we like did. the actual fucking show. For sure we did. Yeah. So yeah, if you want to know more about them and you didn't listen to our like, I forget what I titled it, but it's like our cast bios. Yeah. So you can check that out. Previous episode. Yeah. Um, so the notes that I have about um, the first hour of this show is... Um, did Chris Harrison get younger? Um, it, it appears that he has. It, like it appears, time travel, it, obviously. It appears that he's um, aged only five years in the 12, 13 years? 20, how many years has this been a show? Like, th- so this is the 23rd season. I think it's it's not as... It would have to be like 23 years then, right? No, the first couple of years, I think they doubled up on episodes until they started doing women as Bachelorette. Mm-hmm. Um, so let's say 20, basically 20 years. Yeah. So in that time, he's only your age, like seven years. He is um, Paul Rudd. Have you seen pictures of Paul Rudd? Like a 10 year gap of Paul Rudd. Like and he from, like from hasn't friends. aged. Yeah. I mean, basically. Friends. Yeah. Till now. Yeah. Till Ant-Man. He looks pretty much exactly the same. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, so somehow, like, because I'm, I'm just thinking of, like, last season to now, mm-hmm. Chris Harrison looks younger. He looks, and it could just be a haircut. It could be a haircut. And it could be he's uh, been eating sugar bear hair and, like, had his hair <laughs> shiny and more thick and more healthy looking um, and spray tan and a lot, a lot, a lot of makeup. Mm-hmm. It could be that. Yep. Maybe. Um, maybe. Who knows? Botox. So if you watched it, I'm sure you did. Viewing parties all over the country. Mm-hmm. There um, was Caitlin, JoJo. Uh, they were in Dallas. Uh, at with, Chris Harrison's brewery. With his mom. With his mom. Mm-hmm. Yeah. There's a little, um, what's it called? Incestuous a little bit. <laughs> it's like his mom was in his brewery? No. Because he he's making money off the show if he oh. um, uh, offered it as a venue. Yeah. So, like, I... I don't know what their contract deal was with him, with him providing his venue for the show, Mm -hmm. but I'm sure that he profited from it. At least a little bit. At least a little bit. He's not doing charity work, Mm -hmm. you know? Yeah. I mean, it's a nice place, actually. It's 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 huge. huge. Yeah, it's actually really big. Um, Unless that was the entire venue, and then maybe it's not. I don't know. (laughs) I mean, it's still pretty big. Yeah. Anyways. 
Um, they were there. Blake and Jason were in a random person's house in Michigan. Mm-hmm. In Lansing, Michigan. Lansing, Michigan. And Ashley, I, and some guy was in... <laughs> Jared. Jared. Uh, where were they? They were in Park City, Utah. Oh, Woo! yeah. <laughs> Get us out of this fucking house. That's what the guy said. Yep. yep. Bachelorette. Mm-hmm. Um, uh, okay. So in those viewing parties, um, two people got engaged. Mm-hmm. Um, mm-hmm. One woman was pregnant mm-hmm. and the other woman was not. Mm-hmm. The other one of the men was Asian, mm-hmm. kind of, and mm-hmm. the other one was not. Mm-hmm. That's an excellent recap, baby. Um. <laughs> um, the short Asian guy was uh, did a much better job uh, proposing since he was a little bit more straight to the point. Didn't it, it seemed like the other guy rambled on a little bit? Yeah, I mean, I guess I didn't feel that as much. Um, but I, I would agree that the guy in Michigan did a better job. I think it just felt a little bit more emotional to me. And it might have just been because his future wife is pregnant. And so it's like you're creating a family, which is like nice. Yeah. I mean, not that you have to be married to have a family. I'm not. That's not what I'm saying. But like it was just like a nice moment. Yeah. You know? I mean, both sounded rehearsed a little bit. Sure. But I think I don't know. There's more emotion in the second one. Sure. Asian guy one. And if you didn't listen to our cast bios episode, uh, then you don't know that my Asian guy proposed to me in November. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So Ryan and I are now engaged. We're fucking engaged. To be married, if we're being specific. (laughs) I'm glad you specified (laughs) because people would have thought we're engaged in criminal activity. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Engaged in, yeah. (laughs) <laughs> I don't know what else you get engaged in. Engage in battle. Mm, that Ryan and I are currently We're engaging currently in battle. We're currently fighting right now. I'm winning. I just stabbed her. <laughs> but I'm still winning. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, so we met Chris Harrison's mom. Uh, blah, blah, blah. There was like a whole like montage thing for Chris Harrison, but he's not retiring. Don't worry. Uh, Mike. I wouldn't be surprised if he does. So I, he might End actually be, but, um, or something. Mike Fleiss tweeted, like, don't worry, Chris Harrison's not. Who's Mike Fleiss? Uh, he's the producer of Bachelor. Okay. He said, don't worry, Chris Harrison's not retiring. He just signed another 50 year contract. Mm-hmm. It's like funny. Yeah. Um, we saw Chris and Crystal, which I mean, I don't hate them together, but like, I also don't need to see them. No. Like, just... I'm happy they're happy. <sighs> yeah. I but, like, I, I think they're only I really hope that they're only asked to do this because they're a very recent couple. Yeah, I mean they did they did seem to be like really keen on bachelor success stories. Mhm. Because we have Ashley I and Jared, yeah. Chris and Crystal, um they brought on Becca and Garrett and yep. Rachel and Ari, and then they had that whole thing mm. with bachelor babies. Oh, they did. Like babies that were born because of the bachelor, which somehow Sean and Catherine didn't end up on there. Oh, no. Who's that wouldn't make sense. Um, they are another success story. They have like two kids. Hmm, maybe they just They are on their way to Ari's wedding. They just landed in Hawaii, according to Twitter. Sean and who? Catherine. Um, but they like this is that part was pre recorded, so that wouldn't have mattered. So I don't know. Do they just have a baby? Number two? Maybe. Welcome baby know. number two. Sure. Oh probably. no, that was last year. I don't know them. Okay. They're not my friends. Okay. <laughs> uh oh. And my favorite part of the watch party, the f- infinite hours of this watch party, was when Chris was um trying to like ask Caitlin and Jojo what's happening at the brewery in Dallas. Mm-hmm. And he says, lady, what's happening in Big D? Mm. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't know that was a name for Dallas, and I assume it's not actually. Yeah. I didn't know. You thought that was actually funny? I, I really do. Okay. I really do. <laughs> okay. Okay. Um, so at 8.57, the show starts. Um, <laughs> a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> finally they like introduce him they yeah. talk to him they're finally talking to Cor- uh colton you know there were promos of the women did you write anything d- down about those uh a little bit just like a little like um 
Mm, hold on. I mean, I wrote that Cassie had a promo. Uh, that Demi went four wheeling. Oh, and that Demi's mom was in prison for embezzlement. Yep, there's that. Um, Katie's a dancer, and her uh, parents have been married for a long time, but that was in her intro on the website. Uh, no, so what bio. she said was that she moved to LA to dance, which sounds very generic to me. Mm-hmm. <laughs> um, um, I think she's an ex dancer, and I'm guessing that she has come onto the show to get some rec- to like get some attention mm-hmm. so that she can be a current dancer. Oh. Maybe. That's my guess. Okay. Um, I'm not going in order of the show. I'm going in alphabetical order because that's what my um, okay. pages are on. Um, Heather's never been kissed. Yes. Uh, well, let's. Can okay, we talk about that for a second? Sure. Okay. So Heather, dear Heather, youngest woman on the show, 22, which Colton's 26. That's an appropriate age for him. 22. Yeah, that's sure. fine. Mm-hmm. But she is 22. She has never been kissed, Mm -hmm. and she is on a show to be engaged in 10 weeks. Yeah. You have never had a kiss. I mean, you can say this. You are 22, and you are wanting to be engaged. But No, but Colton's at least been kissed. A little bit older, Right, and he's not saving himself for marriage. He just hasn't been in love before. Sure. Uh, It is weird to want to get married when you've never been in love before, personally. That's how I feel everyone is different but to go from like zero not even to 60 zero to 100 of going from never being kissed Mm -hmm. and then being engaged that is absurd also again she's 22 you don't need to be engaged right now no you You don't you should not be engaged right now again i'm not you can if you are 22 and you're engaged that's fine (laughs) we all live different lives i i I'm being critical and speaking broadly about things that I don't actually mean. I know everyone's not the same. Um, but I just, I can't, I, she shouldn't be on the show is what I'm saying. She should not be on this show, but theory, uh-huh, theory. she's deeply religious because I met a couple who were engaged to be married and had never been, ki- had never kissed anyone. Oh, really? Let alone each other. Hmm. Um, they wanted their first kiss to be at the altar. Oof. <sighs> okay. Oh, my sure. God. Have you seen those, like, first kisses at the altar? No. It sounds cringy. so awkward. Mm. Like, open mouth. Because <laughs> you don't know what to do. You don't know you what You only know do. what you've seen on doing, TV. Yeah, exactly. Oh, my God. It, you don't. You're basically being a teenager when you're, like, in your 20s. And, and in, front married, in front of everybody that you know. Oh, my God. I would not have won my first kiss to be in front of my mother. Oh, my God. <laughs> yeah it's bad it's real bad anyways you so gonna i'm gonna that guess that she's deeply religious and it's one of those things like how um you know like mormons will get married just to like have sex uh, just to have sex yeah or um josie my sister mm-hmm. uh she told me when she was in high school that she wanted to marry her boyfriend straight out of high school so they could live together Oof. and I personally come from the belief that you should live with someone before you marry them because that's how you really get to know someone. Mm -hmm. Like you can spend hours upon hours of every day with someone in separate homes and you don't know them the same way that you do if you live with them. Or travel. Travel. Or travel. Because traveling, you're 24 hours with that person. Yeah. And like how you communicate with each other on like, um, what do you want to do? And like, how do you want to get here? And like, things come up like whether or not you want them or not um and then like you fall asleep i don't know like there's a lot of things that come up when you're with someone 24 hours a day yeah and then like how you handle that is like and there's like, this added stress of travel too um, it's different levels of compatibility yeah i think so like you can live with someone and not be able to travel with them <laughs> you know and yeah. you can be able to travel with someone and not be able to live with them mm-hmm. um but like you i don't think you should marry someone if you've never lived with them yeah uh, so eventually Josie and Dallas did like live together and never got married and have since broken up. And thank goodness that she listened to her wise older sister. <laughs> uh, <laughs> like, we could. Yeah. 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 Okay. Anyways, um, there was Nicole. Well, there was Onyeka. Um, oh, Onyeka. Yeah. Um, I didn't, what, what was her? intro thing about um one about her really long name 
Yes. Because it's actually longer than that, but I didn't write it down because it no, just like it comes long. up on the screen so it's, fast it's and we're not many, able too many letters. to pause it. But there's two extra syllables after Onyeka. Um, and I don't know if it's Onyeka or Onyeka, but mm. I'm going to say Onyeka. Because it's just easier to say. Because that's what I heard. Mm. And then I was reading a recap article that said Onyeka. Like they were trying oh, to like break it down phonetically. Mm-hmm. So they heard something differently than I did. Okay. But I'm going to say Onyeka. Okay. So. Okay. There we are. Um, I don't know. Oh, her parents are from Nigeria. Nigeria. They got engaged after two weeks and have been married for 30 years, I think. Yep. Something like that. So I think it sounds like they won't be disappointed if she gets engaged after 10 weeks. Like, they won't be like, no, this is crazy. Yeah. Um, there was Nicole. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. She, uh, her family is Cuban, which we talked about before. Uh, but we did learn she has an autistic brother. Yes. Um, which I can imagine that having someone, w- um, with that kind of neurodiversity would make your life, um, different mm-hmm. than another person's life. We see things in a different, uh, different classes. I don't know. Different- yeah. You, you see things differently. Yeah. I would imagine at that point. And mm-hmm. then also, I mean, there's, we all have our own obstacles in life and that's just like a different obstacle mm-hmm. that she, um, I'm sure it's like something she's really very happy to, to do, to be there for him, mm-hmm. but it does present certain challenges. Yeah. Even in like the short clip, it showed like maybe like he might not be the easiest, um, person to take care of if he, he needs, he does like someone who needs someone to take care of him. Yeah. yeah. Um, okay. Well, there's that, uh, Kerpa. Dental Her hygienist. Um, she has a white dad. Uh, yeah, she is Indian. Is she Indian? Did she she is that? Indian. I heard that on Two Black Girls, One Rose. Okay. Did... They said she is definitely Indian. I okay. think that came from Ashley Spivey, who's in the Bachelor world, so mm-hmm. she has connections that we don't. Okay. I was like, I w- you can't really tell. She also didn't say. She just she said, like, say. she's um, yeah. a, from a family with that's multicultural or something like yeah. that. Yeah. I think someone in a photo... Look like they were Sikh. They were wearing like the turban. Mm-hmm. Um, but it's a religion. But that, yeah, that could be uh, a, a wide variety of cultures. Yeah. And then there was Demi, interior mm-hmm. designer. Mom, in <laughs> I heard person. embezzlement. Again, from Two Black Girls, One Rose, uh, Ashley Spivey. Mm-hmm. So Two Black Girls, One Road had Ashley Spivey, who was a previous person on The Bachelor. Um, I think they did like a two part episode with her. Whoa. Um, and so she was able to give some extra additional insight Mm -hmm. on this. Um, and she thinks that they glammed up interior, interior designer. Okay. That she actually works at West Elm. Oh. Which is fine. It just Uh means she's a normal person. Yeah. Right? Did they really have to do that? They didn't have to, but they did, which is strange. Mm Mm-hmm. Retail. They could have said retail. It could have said retail worker, but they said interior designer. Maybe she wrote that. Like maybe, maybe that's a thing that like, you know, mm-hmm. how I put professor so like go- on things now. <laughs> My name badge says professor. Yeah. So I put professor. But like they went to her LinkedIn and said interior designer or something like that. <laughs> yeah. I don't know if she wrote it or if they wrote it. But I, Ashley Spivey says she thinks she works at West Ham. I don't think it's confirmed. Mm-hmm. It might be. She, I don't know. I did not personally confirm it. I forgot about it until just now. Do you know what her last name is? Demi Burnett? Lovato. Yes. I'm just kidding. It's Burnett because I think it's the same as my aunt's last name. Oh, really? (laughs) Yeah. Hi. Hi. I'm looking at her LinkedIn. Okay. That's fine. Just kidding. She doesn't have one. Oh. Oh. Yep. She doesn't have one. Okay. Oh. Nope. She doesn't have one. (laughs) (laughs) Wait. Does she have one? Uh, Yes. (laughs) Um, no, that's fine. Uh, yep, that's it. Okay. Uh, and then it was the next one, Hannah B. Was Hannah B in there did somewhere? She, have one? she did. Um, I only wrote it down because she just kept talking about what a hot mess she is. She's the hot mess express, and she's wanted to seem like kooky and quirky, like oh, I'm like so Jennifer Lawrence kind of thing, you know? I don't remember that. Oh, I think it's like I think it's something she really values about herself. That, like, that even different. though she's, like, a beauty queen, that she's, like, different from other beauty queens. Mm. You know? I think that's... Is she beauty queen? Yeah. She's Miss Alabama. Oh. Hannah B. Not Hannah G. Oh, right. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was like, that, that doesn't seem right. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So I think, like, her quote-unquote uniqueness is important to her. Okay. Okay. So those were the promos. Oh, shoot. I just f- 
flung my stalker flung sheet across the, the room. Uh, again, if you miss the cast bio sheets, I made these really nice little stalker sheets of all the the women with their pictures yeah, and their name and their them. age and their occupation and where they're from. And some notes I wrote about them and, and I put hearts and devil horns on them i didn't but <laughs> but I, like crossed out their face with an 50 so, times with an x it's my own little burn book you know <laughs> okay what do you want to but talk if about someone next? just walked in our house it would look a little bit creepy it would look really <laughs> creepy um i thought about like maybe i should print it out because you can print it out uh, in color at uh, king county libraries um because you get for free for free um but then like if i was printing that out that'd be super creepy well, i didn't let anyone see it i took it straight off the printer and put it in a folder i was like nope i don't have folders <laughs> you I'm can buy mine i have plenty of folders Ugh. you ever need a folder baby let me know i can hook you up i'll let you know hook you up i'll let you know <laughs> all right let's start at the limo arrivals okay demi yes demi was the first one out the limo mm-hmm. she yes. has not dated a virgin since she was 12 yeah which I don't think sh- means she lost her virginity at 12. I think it can be interpreted that way. Uh-huh. And it's possible. Um, like she could have dated, after she was 12, she could have dated men that were not um, virgins anymore. And, and that, that were older than and her. And she could still be a virgin until she's 16. Because you can date people who aren't virgins and not mm-hmm. have sex with them. That's okay. Yeah. I personally have never done it, but it's... <laughs> Right. Uh, I, I I should have read the rest of it to actually see what happened the rest of the night. But um, Entertainment Weekly was able to have the a behind the scenes like seat with the Bachelor's first night. I think I told you a little bit about it. How did I Google Bachelor premiere? Bachelor premiere de- deleted scenes like mm-hmm. Bachelor premiere da da da. I Googled so many things and that didn't come up. Do we want to pause and so you could read the whole thing? No, tell me about it. Okay, so they were just talking about a lot of like the little behind the scenes thing where like, oh, you go through this house and this house is the, what's it called? Where it's like the, all the food and stuff. Catered? But for the staff that do the. Stocked? <laughs> I don't know. The refreshments for like the staff to, okay. you know, that. Um they were talking about that and like talking about all the women getting ready and everything like that. But then like when they finally got to Demi walking out, they were like, um, Oh, she, I like her, send her out. And then she does her intro. And then, uh, they talked to Colton afterwards. He was like, what did you think about that? And he's like, that was awkward. <laughs> um, and they're like, okay. And so like when they were doing, while they were like, um, assessing how he feels and stuff like that, he was like, do you need anything? They're like, uh, and then Colton says, like, I think I need some more wine. Um, because, like, <laughs> that was just oh, the beginning. Oh, you did tell me about that. Um, okay. And then so they're talking about, like, okay, let's send out another one that's, like, um, I like her. She has really good energy. Energy. Let's send her out to, like, you know, kind of play on how he's feeling and stuff like that so that, um, you know, the night goes better. Mm-hmm. Like, help him feel better um, mm-hmm. about his night because it's probably super stressful for him too right because like it seemed like everybody said that he was super nervous Aww. and then right that's didn't, sweet didn't seem like everybody said like yeah he just seemed really nervous and yeah you know they they're did. trying to calm him down and everything like that um like but they didn't say any of that about anything of about that for becca oh that's true but he was yeah probably because he's way younger <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I've been holding that in. That's okay. I was just waiting for like a good break. Sure. Okay. Yeah. So there was, I mean, there's a whole, th- I should have read the rest of that stuff. But like, um, anyways. Didn't you also say that someone did something that was like too scandalous oh, that they were like, no, 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 redo that. <laughs> I don't remember who did it. Um, but they came out of the limo and then, you know, how like the ground is always wet. Yeah. Um, because but it's fucking LA though. It's not raining the entire time. Um, they should really have just a sprinkler, but they have a hose. To no, hose. it rains every day in LA, I think. <laughs> they have a hose that sprays <laughs> down the, the driveway so it looks wet and like more dramatic Which or like, whatever. Why? I don't. Yeah, I don't get it. Whatever. It seems like a waste of water. Um, <laughs> Especially in California. <laughs> yeah. uh, but she grabbed the hose and she was like, is it me or is it something? Something. Is, 
Does it seem wet in here? All right, over here. I don't know. Uh, I forget what she said. Something about it being implying, wet. Yeah, that she's wet. Yeah. And they're and they're like, no, 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 no. <laughs> You're gonna have to redo that. That is too suggestive. Um, and they can't air that. Yeah. Yeah. But there was a bunch of other stuff that I didn't read because it was super long. But it seemed interesting. You guys can try to find it. Okay. EW's like behind the scenes or something like that. Yeah, I think they have like exclusive stuff with them. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Uh, Who else? Who next do you want to talk about? You you wrote people down in order. Mm -hmm. I did not. Mm -hmm. Kaylin. Okay. She's Miss North Carolina, mm-hmm. and then she had her sash, mm-hmm. and then when she flipped it around... She became Colton's sister, Miss Underwood. Oh, yeah. She wanted to become his wife, <laughs> but uh, Miss is not the the thing for a married Typically, yeah. woman. Ms. means mm-hmm. married or unmarried. Mm-hmm. Miss means unmarried. Mrs. Is, whatever is married. The fuck you want. No, Mrs. means married. <laughs> Ms. I was telling my students in my English 93, 99, 101 class, mm-hmm. um, like what I prefer to be called. I was like, Kelly, I mm-hmm. prefer to be called Kelly. Um, but like, if you need to, like, if you're uncomfortable with that, like, I prefer Ms. And then I meant to say my last name, but instead said Kelly. <laughs> Ms. Kelly. So now I have students that call me Ms. Kelly. <laughs> oh. I was like, not Miss Kelly. This isn't kindergarten. <laughs> but they're like, I'm Miss Kelly. <laughs> that's, like, that's your fault, though. I know. It's pretty funny because now it's like an inside joke. And so it's like it built some like For rapport. you or for everybody else? For like, the students in the class. Per- and so like it builds like rapport with them because then they have like a joke with you. Okay. And then they feel more so comfortable with you. So they know that you. you actually didn't mean to do that. Yeah. I corrected myself. And, okay. Yeah. Okay. Uh, it's, not the, it's not the ESL class. It's the like... English for credit class. Okay. <laughs> yeah. um, next is Sydney. Sorry. Thank you. Next. <laughs> Sydney. Yeah. Yeah. Did she do anything? She didn't, but she okay. was. Um, you just like her? N- no. Oh. I mean, she's okay. Uh, but she's an NBA dancer. Mm-hmm. She's from New York. Mm-hmm. So that means she's either for the Brooklyn Nets mm-hmm. or the New York Knicks. Mm-hmm. Either way, it's okay that she quit her job to come here because... <laughs> Both of those seem to suck. <laughs> I just, so I still find it unbelievable that she quit her job for it. I mean, also, you you have heard about how poorly, like, dancers yeah. and cheerleaders I think we talked are about that in yeah. our cast bios episode. Oh, do we? But, like, here's the thing. She's 27. hmm How much of a career did she have left in NBA dancing? I mean, there are 30, 40-year-old, like, um, cheerleaders. 40? Yeah. Okay. So she does have a career left. I don't know. I don't know how these things work. Um, but I'm going to guess that she didn't quit her job to be on the show. Probably not. If, if, or if she like, like she already wanted to quit mm-hmm. and is using this like as like a way excuse. to find a new job. Yeah. Move, because like or she moved to LA or something like that. Yeah. Sure. Um, okay. Who are you going to talk about next? Uh, there's Caitlin. She's yeah, a so realtor. She popped his cherry with her apple balloon. Apple balloon? I thought it looked like an apple. You didn't think it was an apple when she came out with I it? I it just looked like a red balloon. Okay. Well, it had like a green stem on it. Oh, I didn't really pay. I just um, saw a red balloon. But she said she she claimed it was a cherry and mm-hmm. she popped his cherry. Yeah. She's the realtor and apparently her website is super sketch. I haven't checked it out on my own. Uh-huh. Um, but I guess like it doesn't look finished is what I imagined at least. Maybe that's not true. And the guy on her like the partner she has, like he looks super like creepy. And then they have all these like links where you imagine if you click like on the Twitter link or Instagram link or Facebook link that it takes you to their Just personal the, page. Uh-huh. But the women on two black girls, one rose clicked on the YouTube link. Cause uh-huh. like they have a YouTube channel and it literally just took them to youtube.com. That's so weird. Which is like, what do the sketchy. other ones do? Yeah. I meant I have been meaning to check it out and I, yeah, but, uh, I I don't know how to find it as part of it because I don't know her last name. And mm-hmm. you type like Caitlin Realtor, like you're not going to get much. So yeah, I haven't done it yet. If you can sleuth, do it. Um, seems like a fun thing to do. Okay, next. Mm, Katie, sure. She did a magic trick. Uh huh. Uh huh. Super magic. Uh huh. I think all of them had the letter V on them. I'm gonna guess. 
It'd be she'd be really setting her up self, setting herself up poorly if they didn't. Mm-hmm. Uh, <laughs> well, she's great at magic. It's like, oh look, I took your V card. Mm-hmm. Uh, he likes Katie though. He met her on Ellen. Oh, he really? likes Katie. Mm, I don't remember. Uh, Alex, no, Alex D. <sighs> the sloth. Mm-hmm. I'm surprised she she got a rose, right? No. Oh, she didn't get a rose? She did not get a rose. Oh. I'm surprised she didn't get a rose, actually. Really? Just because, like, the way the producers do things. Mm-hmm. Like, keep around the interesting ones. Yeah. So, I mean, stop listening to our podcast. Listen to two, bla- two Black Girls, One Rose. They had Rachel on there. Uh-huh. Rachel as in the Rachel Lindsay. And um, she was saying that they do, like, really push you. Mm-hmm. To keep certain people, yeah, at I'm least in the beginning, at, at least like the first week, yeah, because yeah. it's like it's a little bit insignificant. Like if you don't feel like a strong connection to these people, then like you're not going to keep them anyway. Yeah, they're probably going to go home in the second week. I mean, considering so, how some of the people are on, like Wabam, yeah, exactly. Wabum, she didn't want to keep him. I'm sure she didn't. They they made her keep him. But what I find interesting is she kept him for two weeks not just the first week first week i understand producers have a hand in that second week she's making decisions at that point you know she didn't want him to stay she chose to let the producers to manipulate her that way yeah so again she's not perfect she's still like we love rachel she's not perfect she's human which we found out in her season Uh, (laughs) um um yeah they do manipulate you which is why i thought they might want him to keep the sloth because in the time that we've been watching the show Costumes work. Costumes we have work. And left like, shark. We have chicken. Mm-hmm. I don't think there was a costume in Ari season, but costumes work. Oh, really? and Elise with the mask, at least. But all of those people stayed past the first night. So really it's actually like costume? halfway through the show, all of those people stayed. Yeah, pretty much. Adam, he was a penguin, right? Oh, no, Matt. Matt. Miles McGowan, he stayed, in, he was in like the final, final six. Final. He was a final four. He was final six. Cause him and Adam left. The same Matt and Adam week. went home at the same time. Okay. And then we went to hometowns. Okay. Cause we were like, this would be wild if we went to their hometowns. Cause we don't know who the hell they are. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Uh, but yeah, costumes work. Yeah. I guess not. She was just a little extra. Yeah. She, um, got too into her costume. Yeah, way too. You should have um, cut it out once you finally got to Colton. Yeah. That would have been a good time to stop that. Mm-hmm. But then she just kept going. Yeah, she stayed. She stayed. In, she should have taken the head off sooner, at least. At least. At least. Yeah. Anyways. We'll talk more about that later. Yeah. What um, other limo arrivals? Mm, 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 Tracy? Mm-hmm. The, she came in the cop car. That was pretty, like, I don't know how you get that. How do you get that? I don't know. That's a great question. Well, then again, you can just kind of buy them. Um, oh, yeah. Uh, because it's like an auction? Yeah, for but then for you to be able to, to drive it around and stuff like mm-hmm. that, you have to take all that stuff out. Yeah. There was a person <laughs> somehow, um, some guy that... Uh, at soccer con i met him there and then like uh when he didn't say soccer con by the way uh an <laughs> it anime sounds convention. Like that, but it um <laughs> and so wince um you know is really nice and like um he invited wins out to victoria which is not t- not too far away canada and, um yes and then uh he has bought Two cop cars and just <laughs> drive them around. Not Wentz, this other guy. This right? other guy. Okay. He's bought two cop cars and just drives them around. It's just it's just a really scrawny, kind of awkward looking Asian That's guy. Funny. Is driving around in old cop cars. Is it Raymond? Oh yeah. Okay, I've met Raymond. Yeah, you've met Raymond. <laughs> at I guess. So- at Soccer Con, actually. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. Um for my I think it was prom. My dad asked if I wanted him to drive me in a patrol car. So my dad's not a highway patrolman, but he works for the highway patrol. He can get, and I feel like he could convince somebody to like, you know, fudge the rules a little bit to let him borrow a car or something. Actually, no, he's borrowed patrol cars. He's he's driven them before. Yeah, he's brought them home, hasn't he? He has. Yeah, he he's on the lights on them. Yeah, but he's got like the radio and stuff in it. Yeah, yeah. 
Yeah. <laughs> uh, He's see. just not allowed to park them on the street. That's the law. Really? Yeah. He has to park in the driveway. Oh. Which was important at our old oh. house because we usually parked on the street. Uh-huh. And then like, you'd be like, oh, there's a cop car. You can't speed or something like that. Yeah, I, yeah, I think maybe that's it. Is that looks like a like a sitting car rather than like a parked car. Mm-hmm. Um, probably like yeah. more likely to get vandalized too on the street. If it's closer to the mm. home, it might not less likely for that's it to get vandalized. Point. Or like get stolen or something. Maybe. Yeah, that's a good point. Anyway, not relevant mm-hmm. to Bachelor. Mm-hmm. Uh, Alex B, is that who you have? Alex B. Who do you have? Tell me. You Next. you kept track in order. Go ahead. Uh, what did she do? She was a dog rescuer. And yes. She had, had the, the signs. signs. She what was, did they say? I she was in love, actually, basically. Yeah, I was kind signs. of, I put that, I made that connection, yeah. but I didn't read it. Uh, I didn't, I don't remember everything. Uh, basically saying she's like, she's sick and she can't talk. Really? Yeah. Okay. So maybe that's why they didn't show. Did he he talked talk, to her though. He talked to her for a little bit, and like she was drinking, like it looked like tea. Mm, yeah. Throughout right. the night, I was wor- wondering why someone was wearing, drinking tea. But there was another person drinking. Catherine tea was too. drinking tea yeah. or coffee, probably that... to stay awake. Because um, it was DJ. Uh, it was probably two p.m. when they oh, left the no. house. <laughs> the next day, <laughs> they had been in there for coffee five days. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but we never saw any of it. <laughs> okay, um, Revian. Spoke mm-hmm. Mandarin. Mm-hmm. Uh, Nina spoke Croatian. Mm-hmm. Nicole, Nicole spoke Spanish. Spanish. Mm-hmm. Cuban, Spanish. Yeah. Um, Bree <laughs> spoke Australian. Yep. Mm-hmm. She did. She spoke Australian. Yep. And she did this really nice thing where he says, where are you from? And she says, oh, this accent, this accent is Australian. Instead of saying, instead of lying to him. She told the truth. The yeah. accent is Australian and that she hoped he was a sucker for accents. It was all true. Manipulative, but true. Maybe not manipulative, deceptive. Deceptive. Deceptive, but not lies. Almost lies. Almost lies, Very close but not to lies. lies. Not lies. Close lies. <laughs> kind of lies. She did. Um, so we'll talk about this now since they don't show it on the show. Yeah. So like it's just another example of like them cutting things out. I don't. Did we mention this already? But like, okay, let's go, go ahead. Uh, so um, yeah, they don't they don't show it on the show, but it's a deleted scene uh, that you can find on our Twitter, Roses in Thorns Pod. Uh, she digs herself out of this much more elegant, elegantly than eloquently, I ex- please. eloquently than I expected. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Actually, I thought like, how is she gonna come back from this? Like, how do you confess this to him? Uh-huh. And she was just like, it's an icebreaker. Yeah, like, yeah. Oh, okay, okay. Sure. She's like, I just really like the accent. Uh-huh. And then he's like, all right, then where are you from? She's like, California. He's like, cool. Have you traveled much? And she's like, nope. And he's like. All right. Oh, yeah. You know? Yeah. <laughs> uh. But apparently her Australian accent is pretty good. Like, and I'm not just saying like from the watch party where we have Courtney and Lily, RIP. I know they're still alive, but their relationship is dead. Um, they still hang out, though. Apparently still hang out. So I think that they're like low-key dating. Or they're sure. just best friends. I don't know. I mean, they're friends. I'm sure they're, they have they're to be friends. So they're cute. They're hanging out together. Oh, they're so cute. Um, but like, they didn't really comment on her accent, but I read an article about it from an Australian where she said like, it's actually pretty good. Yeah, it's not bad. Yeah. I mean, I, I don't know the Australian accent well enough to like really know if it's good, but if an Australian says it's pretty good, I'll believe them. And then that same article linked to <laughs> this video of Ariana Grande. Mm-hmm pretending to have an australian accent and it was really funny and like it was good oh really yeah she like even used like lingo that i don't know that australians use like dead ass oh and there was like another one she used um that's like oh something like young when you don't mean young Hmm. uh and like yeah and it was it was really good she's pretending to be like steve irwin or whatever and she like it's like hunting reindeer or whatever like not hunting to kill but like you know, looking for, find. yeah, yeah, reindeer. I don't know how you find it, but it was really funny. Mm. And apparently it's a pretty good Australian accent, according to this Australian person. That's funny. Yeah. I wouldn't expect that. Right? At all. Austra- so uh, Australian Grande, Ariana Grande, 
We tried this recording this first without drinking enough, and I think maybe I overcorrected. <laughs> That's okay. That's okay. Ariana Grande um, is more talented than people believe, I think. Yeah, um, she was on, uh, what's that? SNL? Jimmy oh. Fallon. Oh, where she does the, the like. singing things. Yeah. And she's really good. Yeah. Like, you wouldn't expect a voice like that to come out of, like, something that's less than 100 pounds. If you, <laughs> <laughs> um, if you don't believe that she's great and you haven't seen the SNL skit where she's pretending to like fix title radio, like, oh, it's, no, I haven't. Oh my gosh, it's so good. It's so, like the premise is like title services are like, like the servers are going down or whatever. So like they need her to fill in for different radios. They're like, we need you to fill in for Britney Spears radio, for Whitney Houston radio, mm-hmm. for like what? And so she like can just change her voice like on a dime. Yeah. It's amazing. Um, she has, you know, the past of like licking the donuts, which was like a weird thing to do. Dunkin' Donuts. She went, she's like, America's disgusting. Like licked all the donuts or whatever. Oh, I've, not the I didn't best. Know that was her, but she was a child. Uh, we all do stupid things when we're children. It's not an excuse, How old was she? but it's a reason. Um, I don't know. She's probably like 16 because she's pretty young, mm, right? Sure. Um, I'm not condoning that behavior, but she's a talented singer and apparently Italian Australian accentist. <laughs> next. Next. Thank you, next. Uh, 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 Hannah G presented him with some of his favorite underwear. Mm. Uh huh. Mm-hmm. Uh huh. It's nothing. It's nothing because he's in wear underwear. Uh-huh. <laughs> and then I'm sure, like at that point, he's like, "Oh shit, these girl, these women know things about me." Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And it's awkward. Yeah, it's a thing that I didn't know people knew about him. I mean, I don't. I think it just came up like the day before, which is how I knew it. Okay, so I was thinking just now of like how he in that suit he might not be wearing underwear. <laughs> And thinking like, oh, in that suit, no, it's like suits. And then thinking about the, all the suits that were in Chris Harrison's flashback thing of how ugly all of the suits were. I think I said something about it when we we're watching it, but then it was just, uh, really weird to see all those really old suits. Yeah. Those like boxy suits, mm-hmm. like huge the shoulder lapels. pads go past your shoulders. Mm-hmm. And yeah. Big lapels, really baggy. Oh, all the gel in their hair. Oh yeah. They're, gel, man, the gel industry in the nineties was huge yeah. <laughs> <laughs> in early two thousands. If you can make one that didn't flake when you touched it, man, I mean, that's the dream, yep. right? Yep. Ryan's go-to has got to be right. Got to be yeah, something like that. Yeah, it's like the word got the number two and the letter B, mm-hmm. got to be. And there's like an umlaut in there somewhere, I think. Yes. <laughs> That's Ryan's go-to. It doesn't, doesn't seem to flake too much. No. Yeah. Doesn't. Uh, I usually don't use that much of it either, too. <laughs> um, uh, Catherine? DJ Argo. DJ Argo! She... <laughs> uh, she gives her dog... <laughs> to Colton. What kind of dog of. mom is she? To just like abandon her child with a stranger. He is a stranger to him. Yes. Yes. <laughs> and I don't I don't know what she was expecting him to do to hold the dog the entire time. No, he's the dog is staying with Colton according to her. The dog is living with Colton during this time according to her. Is that what she said? That's what she said. Gross. Um I have thoughts about this. Continue, though. Uh, that's weird. And then, like, so instead of him taking care of the dog, he hands the dog off to Chris Harrison. Who Chris- probably like, gave to a crew member, you know. Probably. But that's so weird. Did you, what did you have to say? So I have thoughts. Um, one, a brilliant way to get around a dog sitter. <laughs> sure. Very expensive. It's so expensive. Can you imagine 10 weeks of paying for a dog sitter? That's- we just wanted to do 11 days and it was going to be 600 bucks. Yeah. <laughs> so it's very smart, uh, in that way. Uh, however, how can you leave your dog with a complete stranger? Mm-hmm. Uh, you met him z- negative zero seconds ago, negative zero. That's a number. Uh, and then you just give him your dog. Uh, also point number three, four, two, two. <laughs> 
<laughs> Again, number, I overcorrected on the alcohol. Uh, point number C. <laughs> um, all the other women, I'm sure, wanted to bring their pets. Yeah, they're like, what the dinner. fuck? You brought your dog and Col- I couldn't? Colton probably wanted to bring his own fucking dogs and yeah. he didn't. Yeah. I mean, he should have known that he could because Rachel brought her Rachel dog. Rachel brought Copper. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but who had, like, just had surgery or something, right? I mean, oh. that was on her date with Nick. Mm-hmm. Maybe he had had surgery, so she brought him. But whatever, like... Other people have animals. They want to bring them. Like, you can't set this kind of precedent. Like, this, dear ABC, you can't set this kind of precedent. Because other, unless you're willing else, to deal with the consequences. Yeah, everyone's going to want to bring their dog. Yeah. From now on, you need to have a doggy daycare, mm. which will lead to a kitty daycare, which will lead to, like, rats, ferrets, etc. daycare. And then, like, maybe sometime, like, a child I mean, daycare. I don't know. Man. <laughs> you force people to be away from their children, but you're gonna let them bring their I mean, fucking. They dog. probably make enough money off this franchise to be able to do that, though. It was really hard. I was trying to say ferret and rat, and I was like fat, but I didn't. But I wanted to tell you about it. Okay, so good you job. Were there for good it. Good job. Thank you. I didn't hear it. <laughs> uh, I Next. think the last one I have is Erin. She mm-hmm. came in as Cinderella. Mm-hmm. She mm-hmm. didn't. Okay. Uh, yeah. She- Cinderella. She had the whole like horse and carriage, left her left shoe, powder blue dress, long blonde hair, mm-hmm. that whole thing. Is there anything else? Um, I wanted latte? to point out, sorry? Pumpkin spice latte? Is oh, that- so like yeah, in her bio, it says she likes ballroom dancing, shoe shopping, and pumpkin spice lattes. Mm. And her and occupation she, is Cinderella. She works for her stepmother. Mm, there's a lot of things. There's a lot of things. It does kind of make her Cinderella. I mean, not. A, I'm sure all those things aren't... Uh, they might be true, actually. It could be. I'm yeah. the only one that's like ballroom dancing. It's like, I don't know. Yeah. But maybe like she you've does. you've done it. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> okay. I would like to add one more entrance. Yes. Uh, Jane brought a photoshopped picture of her oh. dog and Colton's dog. Mm-hmm together which is a little bit crazy town to me it's not as crazy town as photoshopping her face onto a photo of him no at least photoshopping a photo of her face onto him yeah that's crazy onto town him with him she looks stupid with, with his muscles him face. <laughs> <laughs> but it's still weird to like photoshop basically your kids together yeah you know like michael scotty oh michael scotty <laughs> yeah. yes michael exactly. scott like we also learned that sequin dresses are very in this season. Apparently. Everyone. Everyone wore something with sparkles on it. So weird. That may be exaggeration, but it's also maybe not. It's like at least half of them did. At least half. Yeah. Okay. I think that's all I... For re- limos? Yeah. Yeah. Let's go on. Okay. What do you have? So um, when Hannah B. comes in the house, she sees Kaylin. Yes. And then we learn that Hannah B. and Kaylin were on the um, Miss whatever circuit together. They both competed in, like, Miss Universe, mm-hmm. I think, together. And um, Kaylin was runner-up mm-hmm. in the Miss Universe pageant or Miss USA. I don't know. Whatever. A Miss big title yeah. pageant. Yeah. Kaylin was runner-up, which I learned, uh, not from the show, but separately learned means – if um, the actual, we'll say Miss USA, because I think that's actually what it was. If Miss USA was not able to fulfill her duties, Caitlin would have had to step in, mm-hmm. which would have meant choosing between Miss USA and, the, and bachelor. the Bachelor. Yeah. yeah. Um, but anyway, so Hannah B was competing in that as well. Mm-hmm. Caitlin obviously got further in the contest yeah. than Hannah B. And here's what Hannah B said. Uh, I just... In regards to being on the the Bachelor with Kaylin, because I think she knew that that was going to happen. Okay. I didn't want it to feel like a competition. I don't know if she knows what show she's on, but this is a competition. Yeah. And like now she's, I think she said something about like we were ke- competitors before and now we're competing for the same man or something Oh, did like she? That. Okay. Yeah. Either that or maybe I thought that. I don't know. Mm. That's a good thing to think. <laughs> Uh, we also had the same dress. Lauren Ooh, and Heather dress. wore the same dress. They did. And Erica thought about buying that same dress. Yeah. And if you look at the cast bio pictures, it kind of looks like Nicole's wearing that dress. I don't think it is, but it's something like red it, with like I, the I V see. cut. I see what you mean. Yeah. 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 Um, 
But they were totally cool about it, which I love. They're like, oh, look at that dress. You had the same dress. That's awesome. Da, da, da. Yeah, because like you can easily turn that into like, oh, why'd you have to wear that dress of all the dresses in the fucking world? And it's like, no, it's probably it's like one of the cheaper, like a nice dress from a pretty common store. Yeah. And it's like, what? What are the chances? So like, as good as chances I see somebody wearing the same kind of jeans I am. And it's like not, uh, that's not exactly true. Okay, not true. But like a shirt from like TJ Maxx or something. Sure. It's like there's the reason why people bought it is because it was cheap. And there's like a lot of them that were available. Um, and then like, so there's a good chance I'm going to see somebody wearing that shirt. Yeah. It's, it's not that big of a deal. No, honestly. it's not that big of a deal. It's strange if you're in a room with 30 other women and you are wearing the same dress as one of them. Because, like, the odds of, like, you wearing the same dress as one of 29 other women when there are millions of dresses on the planet. Yeah. Odds are pretty low. Mm -hmm. But it happens. And they both looked great. Yeah. (sighs) Okay. Okay. Uh, So I wrote... Erica. Sorry. Tell me about Erica. Erica Nut... McNutt. McNutt. Mm Mm-hmm. She gave him nuts, mm-hmm. and he didn't remember her name. Mm-hmm. <laughs> but she was super forward about yes. just like put putting things out there, asking questions, and just yeah. like seems like she can talk. Seems like she can talk. Yeah, she, she seems she, like a pretty normal person. She can carry. She's a normal person that can carry on a conversation. Okay, that like won't let um like what was it? Uh, I don't know. Won't let a conversation go quiet. Okay. Or like there's not too long a pauses. Because mm-hmm. there's always constantly like 10 questions in her head or something like that. Sure. Sure, yeah. sure, sure. I don't know. I mean, Erica seems like a thing, like a person that like I would know in real life. Yeah. She's the person that seemed like the most real mm-hmm. to me of like just people I know. See, she, she seems like the, at least from what we saw, the person that was just mm, herself. Mm-hmm. She had like that fishtail braid, mm-hmm. which is like a thing that like a normal person does, you know? Sure. Instead of like getting if all glammed up or whatever, you're like, I can do this braid and this braid looks nice. Mm-hmm. But then it goes frizzy partway through the night because that's what they do. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and you're just left with the consequences. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I know. I know. <laughs> I know. Mm-hmm. I know. I know. You fishtail braid your hair all the time. Mm-hmm. I'll post the picture of you with long hair. Okay. Just kidding. Ryan has a doppelganger that has very long hair. I don't know who he is, but he looks just like Ryan, and it's very weird. Uh, okay. Well, who are you gonna, who are you going to talk about? Who are the word of word of So, prior to learning anything about Hannah G and the outcome of her in the evening, yes, I wrote that her, her and Colton were vibing. They were vibing. Also, for sure. please go back to our Cast Bios episode where I predict that she gets the first impression, Rose. Please. <laughs> I like that it's recorded. <laughs> Good job, baby. I also noticed um, Colton is a very affectionate person. Like touchy? A lot of hand holding, a lot of hands on knees. I mean, that, he's very that's touchy. That's how everybody is. Within the first two minutes of meeting a person? Mm hmm. Because, like, you, maybe you shouldn't be. Like, you shouldn't maybe be. Maybe everyone shouldn't I, be that I way. I think you like, thought it's okay it was, for some people to I be that way. I think you thought it was more creepy when it was like Ari, because he's older. Because he was ancient. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but maybe you think it might might be a little bit different because Colton's less experienced and younger. I just, I don't, okay. I think I liked it better when I thought of just like one person being that way. Mm -hmm. But it's very weird to me if everybody's that way. Yeah. To be so affectionate to strangers so quickly. Mm Mm-hmm. Um, also I've seen a lot of shit about all these women being 23 and whatever. Again, Colton is 26. Those yeah. are appropriate ages for a 26-year-old. Sure, we can judge their life choices of looking for a lifetime partner at the age of 23. You haven't been looking that long. You don't need to start giving up hope right now. But the fact that they're 23 isn't alarming to me yeah, I, at all. It's the exact age I expected them to be. I think if these women start leaving, like, you know, when they start actually going home and stuff... And they're saying that, uh, oh, I'm never going to find love or something like that. It's like, yes. What? Don't. Are you fucking kidding me? Yeah. Then you need to calm the fuck down, lady. Yeah. Like, you're still in college. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I know, like, I I don't know. I'm, from what I thought where I was going to be when I was 16 or 17, I thought I was going to have kids. 
but like i'm so glad i don't <laughs> right you know <laughs> like when i was 27 i was like no i'm not ready for kids no like maybe if yeah. i found the right woman i might want to be married mm-hmm. but then i don't know if i would want kids like i can't yeah. imagine if i didn't have this house already and then like having to like saving up for a house was also something i, I still had mm. to do you know yeah that like we were just i don't know renting a place mm-hmm. anyways yeah this whole thing yeah whole thing i'm not ready they shouldn't be ready they shouldn't be ready I mean, maybe but it's they okay are. if they are so like we have like becca m who is now pregnant mm-hmm. and is going to be a mother and, I mean, has, like, a person who's going to be in her life forever because it's the father of her child, mm-hmm. you know? No matter what. No matter what. Yeah, and whether they stay together or not, it's the father of her child. It's going to be in her life forever. And she does seem like a person who is prepared to take that on. Mm-hmm. And she was, I think, 23 on the show, which is a big deal because Ari was 36. Yeah. Is I think 36? also Jesus. a reason that this is such a big deal is that Nick was 30-something and Ari was 36. And so a lot of the women we had were closer to the age of 30. And it was inappropriate if there were 23-year-olds on the show. Mm-hmm. But... For in Ari season? In Ari season specifically. Yeah. But in, like, Nick's season, uh, yeah, I think the youngest person was Taylor, who was 22, 23, something like that. Yeah. And then everybody else was, or most everyone was 25 or older. Yeah. But now we have a bachelor who's 26. Of course, we're going to have 23-year-olds. Mm-hmm. And the youngest person is 22. So it's not like we have any 21-year-olds yeah. on the show. Yeah. Everyone can drink. As yeah. long as you can drink, that's okay. Yeah. There's a 10-year span of women from 22 to 32. Tracy's 32. Elise is 31. Hmm. I don't think anybody's 30. Most of them are between the ages of 23 and 26. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Anyway. Anyway. Who's Ooh, next? Kaylin gets a kiss. Kaylin gets a kiss. Mm-hmm. Congratulations. Mm-hmm. Um, Sydney. Mm-hmm. She... That was a nice surprise. Planned to have... I don't know. She planned to ha- teach him how to dance a little bit. Yes. And then also just happened to have an orchestra with her. Or a string quartet. String quartet. Not an entire orchestra. Or an entire orchestra. Strings. Winds. Percussion. Percussions. Mm-hmm. Um, yep. I'm pouring wine if you hear a weird noise in the background. Clean covered up clink. by talking. Meow. Well, yeah, uh, so she has a string quartet. Yeah. <laughs> and it seems like uh, even though um, Colton doesn't know how to dance, he had fun at least. Yeah. Maybe yeah. he learned a little bit. They were doing kind of like a all over the place they were doing like tango things and stuff like that when, oh were they <laughs> i just saw them doing like the box step uh but it was it was cool yeah it, she i think he learned something and I nothing think, else i think she definitely left at least an impression yes that he where he would want to know her a little bit more and like she was kind of patient with him like to try to embarrass him about it or whatever mm-hmm. you know yeah you don't want to embarrass someone that like you're trying to date yeah like right off the bat at least most of the time you, you would don't. be surprised <laughs> right off the bat at least yeah um elise takes some fishing in the pool mm-hmm. it was cute yeah that's all i wrote but did they throw in a dead fish i think it was a fake fish. was it a fake okay i think it was fake okay because i w- yeah i thought it was real and i was like you fucking ruined it mm. you have to like you have to take out all the water you gotta clean it out now because it's like there was a dead fish in yeah, there. yeah no i think it was fake okay i just i thought it was like yeah you did ruin this pool <laughs> when she said like we ruined it or whatever um taisha land taisha land mm-hmm. this is when she gets the kiss like sometime during this thing she gets a kiss yeah cause she did a pony ride mm-hmm <laughs> horseback riding i thought she was gonna be the pony initially but now it went as horseback riding yeah uh yeah i think this is when she got the kiss no yeah oh but like okay so i didn't see it that's why you you saw a picture i didn't see it Mm -hmm. okay yeah they didn't show like if they weren't kissing then they were very close Mm -hmm. just smelling each other that's a normal first date activity i mean smelling each other's noses Mm mm-hmm and upper lips. Mm-hmm. 
Yeah. Uh, I, I don't remember the picture. You might have shown it to me, but I, I showed it to it. you, but yeah. it's okay. I don't think I knew who it was. You seemed very certain, but I didn't know who it was. It was in, it was, there was, um, what's it called? Cornhole in the back, and there was like banners and stuff. Or I don't mm. know, but there, that was Tasha Land. Okay. That she was getting a kiss. Okay. Um, the next thing I wrote down is that the sloth was on the tree. She was in the tree. Yep. She was staying in character. Uh, and then the DJ Arco. Oh, drama. um, no, bef- can we back up? Sure. Uh, so the sloth was in the tree, and then she took off her mask and her costume. Oh, sure. And she overcorrected. Mm-hmm. She needed to calibrate. She just like went from talking so slowly yeah. to talking so too, quickly. Too fast and too much. It's not and like not giving him a chance. Yes, she talk. didn't learn anything about him at no, all. No, not at all. She's talked and talked and talked and talked, which I know I am very guilty of. I don't know how you stand me, but like we make it work. <laughs> but then like also she was being a little uh like he said uh behind dogs sloths are like one of my favorite animals or whatever and he's like really you like sloths i'm like what the yeah she's like really why yeah it's like you're a fucking sloth I'm- like he was trying to be nice i'm sure he doesn't mean that <laughs> nobody thinks sloths yeah. besides Kristen bell thinks sloths are their favorite animal yeah but you know i mean i i can i get it i guess like sloths are kind of they seem fine cool. kind of kind of kind of a little cool you put in your top two though no <laughs> top 20 ish like he was trying to be nice Maybe. um yeah, but for her to, like, be slightly disagreeable when, like, she just put him through the entire sloth thing. Right? Yeah. Um, you have to assume that it's her favorite animal in the whole world, and apparently it's not. Yeah. So. Um, okay, DJ Argo. DJ Argo. Um, okay, it really does seem like every time she was interrupted, it was very soon after she was able to snag him mm-hmm. um the first time they were just starting to actually talk is what yeah what we saw it like it, it looked like, like we the saw the whole conversation yeah. yeah it was very early on in the conversation and then mm-hmm. i don't know who interrupted okay, oh tracy tracy yes they were coloring the shoes um or drawing. no so they were just talking and then tracy interrupted him and she took him to color shoes yeah and so then Catherine kind of like walked around the area and came back and was like, uh, can I steal him? And they had done some artwork on the shoes. So we can see that there was like some time that they spent mm-hmm. together. Not a lot. No, but... like they just wrote on it. They didn't really yeah. even draw on it, really. No, yeah, they hadn't had a lot of time together, but more than 30 seconds, which is what it really seemed like Catherine had in the beginning. Yeah. Um, and then like when she got him back, finally, um, who picked okay so here's the order of events tracy interrupts Catherine. yes Catherine interrupts tracy yes onyeka interrupts Catherine. Catherine interrupts caitlin onyeka confronts Catherine in the world's most passive aggressive conversation in the world yeah uh they become frenemies yep that's a good way of putting it Catherine interrupts Tajwan. Yep. Yeah, and like, I feel really bad for Tej- Tajwan mm-hmm. um, because it 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 seems like she has a difficult time um, opening up too because uh, she seems really shy. She's just shy. She's a shy person, mm-hmm. and that's okay. But then, like, she was finally she either finally got the courage to go talk to him and they were talking finally and like slowly and a little bit awkwardly, but at least they were talking. And then like, yeah, but right when they got started, she got interrupted. Yes. And she did not know that Catherine had talked to her so many times or else until she, she said, started to walk mm-hmm. away. And Colton said, uh, oh, fourth, 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 fourth times, times a charm. charm. Yeah. yeah. Something like that, which honestly at that point, Colton should have said No. When Catherine said, can I interrupt? Colton should have said, He should have no. said, no. You have had your time. Maybe not a lot of time, but not everyone has had time at this point. So you've had more time than other people. Yeah. Calm the fuck down. Yeah. That's what he should have said. Maybe like, not those exact words. I think, paraphrase. I think but that no. she has already left enough of an impression to like show that like she is interested. Yes. Like, whether or not, like, if they had a good time in that few minutes that they had with each other, 
leave it as that. Yes. Because I feel like the more that she's trying to talk to him, there's more chance that um, she might mess things up. Like, it's so, I'm surprised she got a rose after all that. After, like, I understand the second time, she didn't get enough time with him. She wants a little bit more time. Mm-hmm. Fine. Yeah. Whatever. Um, Onyeka did not give her a lot of time to talk to him even no. the second time before she interrupted him again mm-hmm. or interrupted Catherine again. But at that point, Catherine has made some sort of impression. Mm-hmm. And if nothing else, Could Colton's going to be come back. Yes. To show like one, she, didn't, she understands that she did not get to talk to him mm-hmm. and like she wants to talk to him more. Yeah. And then like, yeah, that she came back for it. And so like maybe even wanting him leave a little bit more, you know, but, um, I don't know. I feel like that fourth time would have been the thing that's like, no, no, no but you're then, done. But then that also set her up as the villain too, though. It did. Yeah. But I don't, she doesn't seem like a bitch to me. No. Honestly. It seemed like it was an isolated she, thing. Like Chelsea interrupting three times on night one for Ari season mm-hmm. and she ended up being fine. Yeah. I guess. But she also just gave her dog away to a stranger. So it's kind of weird. <sighs> so weird. And I'm sure you've seen this, but how much she looks like Jennifer Coolidge from, um, Legally Blonde. Jennifer Coolidge. Bend and Snap. Oh, yes. Yeah. I was wondering what she looked like mm-hmm. or who she looked like, but yes. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It's the, 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 the plastic surgery. Yeah, I mean... In 30 years. Sorry, how old is she? Sorry, that was rude because I don't know how old she is. That was probably an insult. She's 26. So in 20 years, she'll look like Jennifer Coolidge. Yeah. Yeah. Kind of, yeah. <laughs> um, yeah. I'm, well, I'm at least just not a fan of her. What's her face? I'm not a fan of Catherine, yeah. I, but I don't think she's the villain yet. Yeah. We don't know yet. You can prove it to me later. It's fine. Okay. Sounds good. You personally, Ryan, I will. can prove it to me later. Cassie. Mm-hmm. Uh, oh, I thought she made a really good impression, too. Mm-hmm. Um, the, uh, what's it called? Sign language? Sign language when she got out of the limo. Mm-hmm. That was cool. Mm-hmm. Um, and he seemed genuinely interested in that, too. I'm not sure why i mean i guess i would be too Mm -hmm. um but that was cool and then so like they kind of carried on wait sign language when they were talking i don't know if she did when she got out of the limo i don't think she did out okay but when they were talking she had sign language yeah when they're yeah and then she was like teaching him rose and like the other stuff that was pretty Mm -hmm. cute because like then like you're solidifying some kind of like um you're teaching him something Mm -hmm. so that he should remember that Hopefully. Yeah. Um, but yeah, uh, and then she seems r- really nice and cute. Yeah, I like Cassie. Uh, a couple of things is when she was trying to teach him kiss. Mm-hmm. So like she like, I don't know sign language. She, I But what I saw, she touched her chin first in some way, chin or mouth first, mm-hmm. and then brought her hands together. Mm-hmm. But what Colton did is he, he kept ignoring the first step of things and just went straight to the like the punchline of things. Mm-hmm. So she would do one step and, and then the second step and he would just go immediately to the second step. Mm-hmm. So he kept doing more. Yeah. The sign language for more uh-huh. instead of kiss. Yeah. Which was kind of funny because it's like anyone in the last f- five to ten years who spent time around children or somebody who has children or somebody who has spent time around children knows the sign language for more and all done. Mm-hmm. Like those are just like – these days, everyone teaches their children that, yeah. you know? Also, milk. Uh, <laughs> milk. I think I know that one because of you. Yeah. But, like, more and all done. Yeah. I have seen so many people do mm-hmm. that it's just, like, Lisa does it automatically now. <laughs> and maybe it's more from spending time with Lisa that she does, like, all done all the time. And you do it, too. Yeah. From working at the daycare. Yeah. Um, But then also, I don't know. He said... Like, do you know sign language for kiss or something like that? Mm-hmm. And I think what he wanted was to kiss her. And she's like, oh, yeah, let me show you sign language for kiss. <laughs> <laughs> Which is something I totally would have done. Like, yeah. You just go straight over your head. You're like, let me answer this question that, directly. <laughs> that's happened to me a lot. <laughs> I have no game. Even it's when, a in, we ever when the together. game is handed to me on a silver platter. 
That's true. I was flirting from you from night one, and you had no idea. <laughs> I was thought you were just being nice. <laughs> um, Hannah B gets in her own head about not talking to Colin. Yes, and it kind of sucks. He was just like waiting and waiting out, and waiting but... and waiting, right? Yeah. Yeah, I think she just like she wants to talk to him so bad, but she didn't she interrupt was, other people, and then she's like, "Well, what that, if I have no time to talk to him?" Mm-hmm. And, and like she didn't want to be the one that interrupts people. Yeah, of course. Yeah. which I get. Yeah, that too. And she was oh, she was waiting for him to come to her, which was like not, not gonna happen. Not gonna happen. Yeah, you have to interrupt somebody, unfortunately. Uh, and then uh, finally, she, she does. She does talk to him. Yeah, either maybe he does come and get her. Maybe I think she interrupted. Possibly. I think I don't, I don't remember seeing that. It was just like suddenly they were sitting down together. <laughs> um, but she does this like pinky promise thing with him to do like real talk. Oh, Like whenever yeah. they do that, they have to have real talk. Mm-hmm. Which is like a nice like long term thing mm-hmm. to like have in place. Weird thing to do on night one. Yeah. But it's cute. I think she'll go pretty far. I don't know how far, but more than halfway. Was she Miss? Miss Alabama. Miss Alabama. I like her. Yeah. She's cute. Yeah. Uh, and I don't mean just cute, like, physically. I mean, just, like, overall. Yeah, she seemed nice. I like her. Katie. I wrote down, I don't even... Katie is... Katie and him kissed. So he kissed Kaylin, he kissed Kaylee, and he kissed Hannah G. Is Kay- Katie black? She's black. Yeah. Okay. She's, like, shorter. Um, I remember now. Yeah. She's a dancer. Yes. Ex-dancer, or whatever. Um, I said values fit... He went for the kiss. So, like, they, I think they talked about family and stuff like that. And I was like, oh, they, at least, like, um, sometimes it's not even about what you say because everybody, family is important. Or mm-hmm. a lot of people, family is important. A lot of people, yeah. Um, and so you saying that family matters, it's, like, it's very important for me. It's number one. It's, like, well, duh. Um, but there's a difference between family being important to you and family being so important to you that you say it on a first date. Right? I, I guess so. Okay. But at least, like, I think a lot of the time, it's about, like, when you say it and mm-hmm. how you say it. Mm-hmm. Where it's like, oh, yeah, I totally, like, it. But And so, like, she did it that way where it's like, yeah, yeah. I totally agree. Like, so at least that uh, came off well to him. And mm-hmm. I, it seemed like um, they could, even though, yes, everybody usually does have that same value, that, like, it uh, came off better than usual. Yeah. Yeah. And yeah, he saw her on Ellen. He didn't actually get to meet her, but he saw her. And I, it looked like to me on Ellen that he liked her. Mm. So on Ellen, he met Sydney, uh, Annie, and Katie. And all of them stuck around. Just a side note. Sidebar. Okay. Um, and then the next thing I have is Hannah G getting the first impression rose. Yep. I got that too. Yeah. So I called it. Good job. I, Honestly, I reserve the You're right amazing. to change the statement. You're amazing, oh, thank you. Thank you. I mean, blanket statement. I know. Um, <laughs> I reserve the right to change this later, but I'm going to call it at this point. I think Hannah G wins it in the end. Really? I do. Okay. I don't. And I know for the men, first impression rose does not seem to be as important as for the women. Uh-huh. Uh, but I. I really think that there's, like, a thing there. She at least goes to Fantasy Suites. At least Fantasy Suites. Okay. If not, like, Final Two. If not, Last One Standing. Okay. Hmm. Because I I can see them together. Who was Miss Alabama? Alex? No. Hannah G. B. 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 So Hannah G is the one who got the first impression. Was Hannah B is Miss Alabama. Hmm. Bama. Hannah Bama. Hannah Bama. Okay. <laughs> um, I don't know. I, I can't say. Okay. You don't have to make predictions yet. I'm not, I can't say it. I can't see it. In okay. our fantasy league for the ABC Fantasy League, which is, there are other ones out there. I shouldn't want to join more than one, so I just did this one. And they don't do leagues, which kind of sucks. Yeah. Um, which is like fantasy, bad. whatever. Yeah. 
Uh, we have 160 points right now, which I feel like is pretty good out of 195. Yeah, suck it, you I guys. Feel good. For people cheat. who didn't cheat, yeah, I feel like we it's good. went off of information that is available on the um, Internet. ABC's website. Yeah, like not like Reality Reality Steve or anything. Just like yeah, you know, news articles and ABC and watching previews like weirdos like like and when i say like weirdos i don't mean watching them makes you a weirdo i mean watching them rewinding them watching them rewinding them watching them rewinding them taking down notes making a list of all the things and all the people and then measuring up who might be the best person we're not like trying (laughs) to find (laughs) who every single person that gets the rose like we knowing who goes to week two and stuff like that like they're i'm sure that we're not cheaters we don't do that yeah i'm not a cheater i don't know about you I'm not a cheater. I don't do that. I mean, I think it's a fine line between me knowing that Tasia actually has got a kiss because I read an article <laughs> about it. You know? Yeah, you read articles too. So yeah. like, is that a spoiler? Is that cheating? But also we didn't get points for that because Tasia definitely did get a kiss. Yeah, but we didn't get points for it. Exactly. Even though we put her in there. I know, but you got a rose. Yeah. Um, And then they showed some unlocked footage from the Instagram likes. Of like Chris Harrison, Chris Harrison's memorial. <laughs> and it was funny, whatever. Um, I just don't understand the Instagram likes thing. That kind of pissed me off. Mm-hmm. Like holding it They're, hostage they, unless they get what they want. They are trying to manipulate the system. Yeah, I didn't like it. Like, and, hey, build 15 links to my website or else I'm not going to share this thing with you. And honestly, if they'd been like, go to our website and like click this thing, I probably would have done it. But you tell me, to go to like your Instagram. Fuck you. I'm not doing it. Yeah. That's I'm also not- like, uh, what's it called? JD Power. JD Power, they tell you that they, that you rank for something. Mm-hmm. And then you cannot use the JD Power name it, um, unless you pay them $250,000. You told me about that. And that's nuts. But of course, like to like Chevy, like $250,000 is nothing. No, for them to be able to, um, basically um build their entire brand around uh-huh. how they win these awards like how many worth it. millions of dollars they're going to make off that two hundred fifty thousand dollars yeah like two hundred fifty thousand dollars will be making a minute it's five you cars. know huh? it's five cars five, five cars. brand new cars no two hundred fifty thousand dollars five brand new cars yeah how much does the car cost i mean like big like those big trucks fifty thousand dollars those big trucks yeah jesus you can tell i've never bought a brand new car <laughs> it's nuts Okay. Anyway, snuts. Smicknuts. <laughs> Smicknuggets. <laughs> so, Hannah, she got the first impression rose. I'm not going to go through the list of everybody who got a rose. Let's right, look but, at who didn't get a rose. Who, yeah. Ooh, okay. So, Jane. Yes. Uh, which was the one who photoshopped her dog into his dog's picture. Tejuan, who got interrupted by Caitlin, and so she didn't get the time she wanted with him, so she couldn't make the impression she wanted to. Mm-hmm. Now, I think it's Tejuan's fault. I'm just saying, possibility. Aaron, who was Cinderella. Revion, who I didn't see talking to him, not saying it didn't happen, but we did only see like a limited amount of the cocktail hour. So, Revion, she spoke Mandarin to him. She's going home. Devin, uh, didn't, we didn't see any of that. Alex D was the sloth. She went home. Laura wore the same dress as Heather. Obviously, Heather wore it better, so Laura went Ooh. home, which is a shame because Laura is hot. She was wearing, like, she's there. Laura's in the papers that you have. She's one of like the leather top. It's in first name alphabetical order. Oh, I don't think so. No, I think she's hot. I mean, she's... I would have picked her stacked. based on looks. She's stacked. And I think she's really pretty. She's pretty. She's got, like, very fair skin, dark hair. Yeah. Mm. Okay, that's fine. Not for you me. You have different tastes than I do. Sorry. It's okay. It's okay. I don't look like her, so it's fine if you don't like her. <laughs> <laughs> That'd yeah. be weird if you thought you looked like her. It would be weird. Who do I look like? I'm just kidding. <laughs> Um. So seven women went home. So we're now down to twenty-three. Seven, huh? Yeah. Is that typical? Probably. That's seven's a lot. I would right. I thought it would be like six, maybe. Yeah, I don't know how they figure out these numbers, but I'm sure they have an algorithm. Mm-hmm. Sure they do. <laughs> algorithm. Anything you want? Algorithm say? is do whatever the fuck you want. 
Anything you want to say about the show? Um, nope. Okay. I think that's it. Okay. So hopefully we did these ladies as much justice as we could since they didn't get the time they deserved on the actual premiere. Yeah. Um, if you want to have more information about them, please go to our previous episode. Um, we will hopefully now be more active on Twitter. Because so there's stuff to actually tweet about. Stuff to tweet about, about. And there's like other people tweeting things. So I like to like things and retweet things. I don't know how much original content I produce, but, you know, Reaction, try to be active. Reactions are original content. They're not. They are <laughs> kind of are. <laughs> They're not. <laughs> Was it called, You as long as you transform the information? No, never mind. I'm not transforming. Um, no, I, I mean, I add my own comments sometimes, but whatever. Um, yeah. We are on Twitter, Roses in Thorns Pod. I recently checked up on Roses and Thorns, and she is still holding tight to that 2005 account. Not giving it up. Have you messaged her? No, I thought you said you did. No. Okay. Yeah, she has tweeted, I think, seven tweets. Oh, that's kind of like... She said, like, oh, I don't have enough characters to do, so I'm going to start a blog. And really? never went fucking went back to Twitter. Hmm. So that's, Roses and Thorns is, is holding on to her account. It's like the person with Ryan Dam. <laughs> <laughs> they have, like, two tweets. <laughs> it's very annoying. Yeah. Um, I tried different combinations. And anyway, what we have is Roses, the letter N, Thorns, Pod. We would like to change it. Can't. Whatever. It's we so are hard. where we are. Mm-hmm. Um... Our episodes will usually come out on Wednesdays, um, well, or Tuesdays. Tuesday nights or something. Yeah, so this time, because it was a three-hour premiere, we couldn't record until Tuesday because we have, I have a bedtime. <laughs> 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 I teach a 9 a.m. class. I had to leave by 7.45. She said, we go by like 6. <laughs> and so, anyway. Um, so, I don't know. I guess we might record on Mondays, but like at the latest Wednesdays is when you can expect our episodes. Yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah. Deal Rate, with it. review, and subscribe. Please. Let us know what you love, what you hate, yeah, what your thoughts like, are. So like iTunes doesn't tell us what our rating is because we don't have enough reviews yet. And so like even if our friends have rated us five stars or they rated us know. one star, we don't know. It'd be nice to get enough reviews to just see what our reviews are yeah and like we're not in this for the fame obviously because no. <laughs> we've been doing this for long enough that like if we were in for the fame we would have given up this is our third year doing it uh we started on nick's season so we were entering our third year i'm but honestly i'm happy we do this to spend time together. Mm-hmm. We like spending time together. It's like our hobby. Yeah, we have together. A, yeah, and it's always funny to tell people that I have a podcast. <laughs> <laughs> um, but I mean, it would just be nice to know what you guys think about the show. So whether it's like send, like actually reviewing or sending us a message through Twitter or who, whatever. Who like immediately signed up for our podcast? Oh, like uh, Aviva's um, boyfriend. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He, like, immediately subscribed to us. Which is amazing. Thank you, Aviva's boyfriend. Matt? Is his name? Oh, boy. I'm sorry if I got your name wrong. I'm sorry. I don't Man. remember your I met a lot of people that night. It's hard mm-hmm. to remember what everyone's names are. A lot of I met a lot of significant others that night. Yeah. Anyway, if you don't know Aviva or her boyfriend, then this <laughs> doesn't matter to you. <laughs> um, I remember exactly how he looks like, but I don't remember his name. But, like, I mean, for real, like... Get us on Twitter. Yes, um, we can, if you have like thoughts about things, let us know. Yeah. Um, I'm always looking for like extra information to like contribute into the show. Mm-hmm. So like if you say something or you like link to something, we'll give you credit for it, you know? Mm-hmm. So Ryan's making fun of my head bobble because apparently I got a lot of attitude while I'm talking yeah, about this. Suddenly got a lot of attitude. I'm just like, I'm like real serious about it though. <laughs> <laughs> that was pretty um, good. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Goodbye. Bye. Good night. Bye.